Welcome back to Life in Fork. On today's episode, I'm going to show you the best barbecue cheddar burger you can make at home. Before we start, we're going to address the elephant in the room. You can see the microphone that's on me. been having issues lately with the audio, so let me know in the bottom section in the comments if this helps out. I'm working on getting different audio for the video, so hopefully that will all get fixed out in the next couple episodes. But anyway, burgers are my favorite go-to, especially in the summer uh, on the grill. Nothing like it. Fresh burger off the grill with a nice toasted bun. Amazing. So with the meal prep company, I wanted to come up with a healthy version of it. So I came up with a 90-10 recipe for a, a barbecue cheddar burger. So I'm going to show you how that goes. The ingredients for this recipe are thick cut cheddar cheese, four ounces of barbecue sauce, one pretzel bun, some ground beef, preferably 90-10, and a little bit of kosher salt. All right, so let's get started with the process. It's pretty simple. What we're gonna do is take our ground beef, we're gonna add some salt. I'm gonna add two pinches and a half. Next, I'm gonna add some of the mesquite smoked barbecue sauce uh, by Kraft. I mean, you can choose any barbecue sauce you want, but this is the one I'm using. Three ounces. I'm gonna add three ounces of chopped cheddar. So now for the fun part, time to get your hands dirty. So you're just gonna take your hands and mix it all together, kind of spreading it between your fingertips to incorporate all the barbecue sauce, the salt, the cheddar cheese, all in to get a nice mixture. This takes about less than a minute. And then we're gonna form our patties. Now we're gonna grab them and we're gonna form them into a six ounce patty. I already know the size by hand, so, but if you need a scale, you can use a scale. So now all you're gonna do is pat them, throw them back and forth. It's gonna give it, make sure that the air pockets are gone, which is gonna make it nice and smooth. Now you're gonna pound it with your hands and that's it. You're gonna make your little patties just like that. So you continue the process. So there you go, nice and perfect little burger patties, about six ounces, six and a half. It doesn't have to be perfect, but that way you know your macros. Now we're gonna take it to the grill outside. All right, so we're outside. The first thing you're gonna do is turn on your grill, full blast, leave it covered. It should take about 15 minutes to get this grill nice and hot. It's the most important process in the whole cooking process because if your grill is cold, the burger meat will stick to it and you won't get that nice sear. So turn it on, preheat it, leave it going and then in 15 minutes we'll start cooking all right it's been 15 minutes and it's time to start cooking the burgers so the grill's gonna be really hot so be careful the so first thing you're gonna do is clean your grill off next you're gonna take a little bit of pan spray and just spray the grill be careful because it does spark like that Now you're gonna take your burgers and put them on top of the grill. Then here's a tip that I do. I like to close the grill, which is gonna make it cook faster. Some people like to leave it open, but I think the heat is all getting out. So at this point, it's gonna be like two minutes, and then we're gonna flip them, close it again, and then they're done. It's been two minutes, we're gonna flip the burgers now. So with the metal spatula, just take it and flip it. They're gonna stick a little bit, it's natural because of the cheese and then of course the sugar and the barbecue sauce. So don't worry about that. Just flip them over, push down a little bit, close it in two more minutes. It's almost time. All right, it's been two minutes. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our pretzel bun and we're gonna put it right on the top with the, uh, the shiny side down. I want this side to get toasted, so I'm gonna put it like this. I'm gonna close it just for about a minute and a half to get that nice little toast on it to give it a little bit of different taste. As soon as you toast a bun on the grill, it gives it a little bit of more of a buttery taste. I'm gonna take my bun 
take it off the grill, put it on my sheet pan so I can transfer it into the kitchen so I can assemble the burger. All right, now we're back inside. It's gonna be time to assemble the burger. I got some of my favorite condiments, pickles, and a, bit, a little bit of sriracha mayo. You can put whatever you want on it, but I'm gonna show you how I like to eat it, you know, just in case. So first thing what we're gonna do is put a little bit more sriracha mayo on the bottom. Put our burger right on top. Top it with three slices of pickles. A little bit more sriracha aioli. And then if you want to serve it open face, you just set the bun on the back side. And there you go. Perfect burger. So there you go. Hopefully you like that recipe. As you can see, it's very easy, but it produces such a moist burger. Even though it's a 90-10 ground beef, ground sirloin, actually, uh, it still produces such a very tasty burger because of the barbecue sauce and then the fatness of the cheddar cheese. Of course, there's only one thing left to do. Put the bun on top, take a bite, and see what we think. Ooh, it's going to be a big one. Sorry, speechless. The burger itself is so moist. The barbecue smoky flavor comes out. The cheddar cheese, perfect. The pickle on top gives it a little bit of acidity. And then, of course, a little spiciness of the sriracha. Amazing. So hopefully you like this video. Stay tuned next week for another video. Hit subscribe. Hit the bell. Let me know any suggestions, any comments down below. Love you guys. Bye.